No, not stop. Pause. Let's see. Okay, let's uh, uh, start this thing because all of you, uh, at least most of you, are going to be uh, are either 13 or are going to be 13, and two of you are 14. Okay. Now, uh, the, about the teenage time, what is happening to the body, and how best we can do whatever we, uh, uh, in terms of physical and mental and nutritionally, that is what we're going to talk about. Now, tell me, do you have any idea what this uh, topic is about, or do you have any preconceived notion or anything? You can, you can talk, you know. They're allowed to talk. Otherwise, I'll start a formative and a summative right now itself. <laughs> For all of you. <laughs> okay, guys, listen. You can stop me anytime you want, okay? And if you don't understand something, just ask. Or if you, uh, if you have understood something else before, and uh, this contradicts whatever you heard before, please question, please question okay? Okay. Now, uh, uh, as a teenager, no, you're, you're going, to go, going to go through and are going through a lot of hormonal changes. Do you know what is a hormone? Anybody? Anybody knows what is a hormone? Okay, you've done the endocrine system, right? You've done the science, you've done biology in school, right? Yeah. So in the school, you must have been told, you know, heart, heart is an organ. You heard of heart, kidneys, you heard of uh, liver, pancreas, brain. Hopefully you have one, okay? So all these things you heard of, right? These are all organs, okay? So they are actually the main engine of the body. The main engine of the body is the organs. Now, whenever I say hormones, usually the organs are the ones which are producing these hormones. And when these hormones are produced, and they are produced a lot during this teenage time, which is where you will have the maximum growth physically and mentally. So there is going to be a lot of body change and also the mental growth will take place as long as you're working on it, okay? So uh, it's gonna be challenging times. At the same time, you see right now, if you see, if you hear also, mm -hmm. most of the teenagers can do physically a lot much more. And at the same time, the way you guys are studying right now and over the next few years, you're gonna be studying a lot. Now, from the age of 13 to 19, actually 19, 20, is the time there's a lot of stress on studies also, which you are able to handle. If, if, the, if we have to do the same amount of studies, we can't do it now. As an adult, we will not be able to do it because it is too hard for us now. What you guys are able to do at this age, okay? And also because the hormonal changes are taking place. Now, uh, you know what is uh, stress? Do you understand what is stress? Anybody knows what is stress? What, what, what does stress mean? Like when you're pressured to do something. Yeah, that is a mental stress. You know, similarly, when you exercise, when you start exercising, you have physical stress. So physically, there is stress on the body. Now I'm going to uh, uh, show, uh, show you on the whiteboard what happens when you are physically exercising or you're doing something. Like for example, when you're in your PE class or you're doing any uh, dance or any other thing, uh, short, what happens to the body, okay? Now, this is a muscle okay this is a muscle okay and we are putting stress which is a positive stress positive stress means not too much okay so we are putting positive stress on the muscle now there's muscle muscle is we have muscle all over the body okay so now what happens because of this positive stress is in the organs i'm talking about you have the adrenal gland this is on top of the kidney okay then we have heard of the liver it's liver which is also grand, okay, which, and then we have pancreas, you heard of pancreas also, and then you heard of the brain, which has got the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland, okay, and in the case of boys, we have the tes testicles, which is the balls, okay, okay, so now uh, uh, all these organs are there, and the female is the, uh, uh, will be the, Uterus, okay. Okay, so now what happens is whenever the stress is put, the liver, yeah, secretes ILF, which is called insulin-like gro growth factor. Now what, what happens 
because of this is the fact that ILF leads to growth also. Testosterone, which is in the case only in the case of boys, releases testosterone, testicles, release testosterone, okay? Which is what you keep hearing about people taking drugs and all to get bigger and stronger. That is what this is, okay? The balls produce that thing. In the case of girls, estrogen is produced, okay? And uh, uh, adrenal gland produces epinephrine. This is also a hormone which gets you thinner. So you lose body fat because of this stress which is coming from the adrenal gland releasing this hormone called epinephrine. Okay, the pancreas releases insulin. Insulin, you must have heard of insulin. Okay, insulin is an anabolic hormone, which means you can put on muscle mass as long as you're eating properly. Now, and the, uh, the brain, when you are sleeping, understand this, okay? Only when you are resting in the nighttime, it secretes growth hormone. Now, growth hormone is the one, you know, when uh, uh, you're, you're sleeping in the night and the initial stages, the first few hours when you have, you're into very deep sleep, that is the time the highest amount of growth hormone is released. Now, can you tell me how many hours of sleep as a teenager do you need? Anybody? Anybody? Eight. Eight. Kushi so says eight. Okay. Isn't that it's actually Sorry. It's a it's actually minimum of nine, okay? You okay. need min minimum of nine hours of sleep, okay? So if you sleep for nine hours plus, then the maximum amount of this will be released as long as you're exercising properly and eating well. Now you can see over here, the testosterone, which is the testicles, which is only the boys have, uh, the, this, uh, this is testosterone is released. That is why they get more muscular than the girls. So the muscle is, more because of the testosterone, okay? Okay, coming back off. Now, do you understand? Now, when we exercise hard, that is why the boys get muscular faster. That is why they are stronger because of the testosterone, not because of anything else. Girls also, when they exercise hard and well, the growth takes place. The growth, what does the growth mean? Growth means both muscular and skeletal. Skeletal means bone mass, okay? The bone also grows more. All of you kids, okay? All of you kids are supposed to be bigger and stronger than your parents, supposed to be, simply because you're eating very well and hopefully you're working out or exercising hard. Do we get it? Does anyone have any question till now? No question, everybody understood everything. Yes, do you have any question? No? Okay. Okay, guys, now I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? So you understood the growth hormone and everything else, all the, uh, uh, the things which are happening to you at this moment in time. And you know what the difference between a, a, a teenager like Yash or uh, uh, Adi or even Aryan and all of you girls and me, I'm 50 years old, okay? The difference between you and me is the fact that these hormones are released in a huge amount for you guys. So that is why whenever you exercise or do anything, you recover faster. You're able to recover faster, then you're able to do the same thing all over again. So if you train hard, if you eat well and sleep well, next day you can do it all over again. I can't do the same because I need more time for recovery, okay? So it is like a, you are what we say a new car. If you see a new car, you're very excited. It can zoom very fast. It can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. But an old car cannot do it. 50 year old car certainly cannot do it. You know, it needs a lot of maintenance. Yeah. It needs a lot of care. So same thing. Okay. You guys are kind of like the new car. Okay. So your hormones, your engines can work so much more only if you put stress and get it stronger. So all these things have to get stronger. The, all the organs have to get stronger. All the muscles have to get stronger so that by the time you're off your teenage, you have uh, laid a great foundation. Foundation means the base, okay, of a building, a strong foundation. The stronger the foundation, the easier for it, the, uh, the, the building to be tall and effective. So strength is the mother of all the qualities and the main foundation, strength. Do you understand what strength is? What is strength? Anybody say something. 
the foundation i know it is the foundation but what what do you think uh, when i say strength what do you think of when i say strength strong strong yes yeah. strong means like yeah, able able to do do stuff right strength Popular. means yeah strength mean, usually means uh, papa right <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> in all your cases <laughs> papa has to do the most work okay okay guys listen uh, uh, you know uh, before i come to strength which is what helps you the most in terms of because without strength you cannot be fast for speed you need strength for endurance you need strength for power you need strength for resilience you know resilience to be able to handle stuff or the stress that for that also you need strength without that it is not possible okay so now we are going to talk about how do we develop all these things okay and what happens to you when you are doing these things okay now i'm going to ask you a few questions okay afterwards after we uh, uh, do this thing okay have you heard of uh, uh, usain bolt yeah. you guys have heard of usain bolt right so what does he do what 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 uh, what uh, what is it sprinting 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 is what is a event is a athletic event which is happens very fast fast so it's a fast thing okay so uh, and uh, you heard of uh, 400 meter run 800 meter runs you heard of a basketball uh, among of many of you play basketball you play football yeah that is not that fast right it doesn't finish within 10 seconds 10 to 12 seconds it takes for a long time right yeah. yes or no yeah a long yeah. time football also for a long time so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, talk about the energy system so mainly there are three energy system in the body and you have to develop those three energy systems okay the first energy system and so i'm going to focus okay 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 so so we are we going to talk about this uh, can you see over here it says uh, pc system pc everybody can see right yeah pc yeah 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 that means phosphocreatine creatine system now if you see the color over here yeah the which is the purple color it it lasts less than 10 seconds so within 10 seconds it is finished so that energy system which is usain bolt uses right it is for a sprinting one after that you're finished so you cannot do anything more so that is the energy system which is being used for that now can you see the other one the green one which is a lactic acid system it says okay so yeah. yeah so so that one lasts for more than 2 minutes just about 2 minutes just under 2 minutes can you see that it slowly goes up and then so it is more than the pc system but less than the aerobic the aerobic system which is the blue one can you see the right at the bottom it says the blue one it says it starts at and and it keeps on continuing so aerobic system aerobic means in the presence of oxygen okay so and that keeps on going like uh, anybody who's running a marathon 5 kilometers or if you are exercising for a very long time yeah that is what happens so now when you are doing say push ups or when you are doing any exercise yeah you cannot do more than 10 to 15 repetitions for example so what system would it fall under according to you guys what are you doing when you are doing Only fifteen to twenty reps, or maybe ten reps of push-up or squatting. So, um, which which system would it fall under? Lactic acid. Lactic acid. System. Yes, lactic acid. So what you are trying to do is developing the lactic acid system. The lactic acid system is usually in the muscle. So the muscular system, muscles are the ones. The lactic acid is produced over there, and the muscle glycolysis takes place, whereby we are uh, we are able to use the energy which is around the muscle okay so that is what happens now when uh, let's just say you go for a jog for about 2 uh, kilometers or 5 kilometers okay which takes about 20 minutes or half an hour so uh, which system are you using aerobic aerobic so you are improving the aerobic system okay so and your teacher tells you to do a short put throw short put okay or uh, discus throw which system are you using atp pc pc which is the creatine system do you understand guys 
Okay, now I'm just going to show you the photos. Okay, now uh, tell me what is the uh, the thing in body shape you see different? Okay, of these people. Okay, I'm I'm just going to show you the photos. Okay, so now this is Usain Bolt, right? Yeah. Hello. Okay, can you see the other guys also? All they are uh, all the guys. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see that they are all muscular? Yeah. Yeah, but they do it only for ten seconds. Within ten seconds, they are finished. So this amount of speed which is requ required, this amount of uh, force that is required, yeah, and power that is required, which lasts you barely few seconds, what you are developing is the PC system, which is the phosphocreatine system, okay, which is lasts less than between two to ten seconds, okay. So in that you become really really muscular. Now. Now tell me the other one, okay? Now you are going to tell me the next one. So this is a 400 meter hurdle. This girl is doing a 400 meter hurdle. So tell me what's 400 meter? 400 meter means one full lap. She has to jump over the hurdles. There are 10 hurdles, and so what system? So how long would, this... would that? How long would that take? 400 meters would take how long? If if it is 10 seconds is for uh, 100 meters, 400 meters would take at least more than. 40 uh, seconds and if she's 45, doing hurdles, 50. yeah yeah what, and if she's I mean, doing hurdles, lactic acid yes so it would take if it is uh, hurdles of course it's longer so it is approximately one minute or less than one minute so it is a lactic acid system for the hurdles now tell me this one what is she doing she doing short put. And now what as, what system is she using? PC. Again the phosphocreatine. Creatine system. So uh, just, just keep on looking at the body shapes also, guys. Just don't don't tell me just like that. What system are, are these guys using? Aerobics, aerobics system, right? Because this lasts for more than two hours, a marathon. Okay, guys. Uh, again, I'm gonna ask you. Okay. Uh, this is a. What system is this person using? It's a high jump. Sorry, what? So again, this one lasts very few seconds. Okay, so just the high jump and then that's it finished. So this one is also the creative system. Now, uh, now tell, tell me this one. Okay, uh, you guys know him very well. What is this? What is that? It's a basketball. This is Michael Jordan playing basketball. So what system would he be using? So for the entire game or just for this moment? For basketball. Oh, aerobics. So actually he would be using all three, but in different forms, right? At different times in the game. Right? So when when he's going for an absolute jump, the way he's doing right now, he would be using the CP system. Yeah, but otherwise he would be using all three. Just like the footballers need all three. Now, one more thing I want to ask you, one last one. What system is this guy using? Non what system? Huh? Non, non system. Non. Anybody? anybody? Sitting system. Sitting system? Guys, the as long as you are system you can have. As long as you are alive, you are always in the presence of oxygen. I said aerobic means in the presence of oxygen, which means you are using the aerobic system even when you're sleeping or whatever the intensity may not be very high so if you're moving around you're doing something okay so you're always using the aerobic system okay so always using the aerobic system throughout life but sometimes other things takes more precedence okay so that is when you end up using the other systems now let us just say you want to be a high jumper or a short put person okay let's just say a short put you want to uh, do short put so which system would you work on? Well, I, should I be going for a 2K or a 5K run? I'm asking you. 
the 2K because uh, he needs to focus on PC, so he needs a shorter and faster run. Two kilometers, two kilometers last uh, for that person would last more than 10 to 15 minutes. How does it help? So, but but you said between 2K and 5K, right? So 2K is No, I said I didn't say that. I said, would I be doing two or 5K? No. Should I no. be doing no, at all? No, you'll be doing like 10, 15 steps maximum. 10, 15 steps. So whatever I do, I will I have think. to do very forcefully. Forcefully, that is what it is. So you have to do everything very forcefully. So that person has to do a lot of exercise, which is forceful one. And then that is it. But did you notice the difference between their body shapes? What is the body shape difference? Did you see that girl who was doing the short put? Wasn't she muscular? Yeah. Yeah. So this, uh, the girl who was doing the short put, even the people who were doing the run, even the person who was doing the high jump, they were more muscular compared to the other people who were doing the other events. So when you do extremely uh, fast thing, which lasts between 10 to maybe less than one minute, is the one whereby you will uh, recruit the most muscle mass. Do you understand muscle mass? Yeah. Muscle mass, okay? And that is where the growth takes place. Your growth takes place there. When you are going to make sure that the muscle is under stress and the growth will take place over there. Nowhere else, okay? So that is why whenever you exercise certain things, you know, whereby you're not able to do for a certain period of time, so we are able to do when your teacher tells you, oh, I want you to do burpees, 10 burpees or 15 burpees. Thereafter, he, he's not telling you to do 50 at a time. 50 at a time is going to be really hard. So you will not be utilizing that. Uh, uh, the different system will take uh, come into precedence and you will not be able to do it that well. Okay. So any exercise in which you are able to do less uh, repetitions, uh, but as long as there's more than 10 seconds, that is the one which will lead to muscle growth for you guys okay so when we do uh, uh, if you are a football player or if you are a cricketer so you have to develop all the systems all the systems so adi for you you are a cricketer okay so you have to play throughout the day so you need to be able to be run or to be able to do running also for two to five k at least so you need to be a, because every time you take a run for example the cricketer yeah every time he takes a run he has to sprint Mainly. So that where that is where he'll be using the creatine phosphate. And if he has to do more runs, three or four runs running between the wickets, then he has to use the the, uh, the, the lactic acid system. Yeah. So the cricketer, when he's diving for a catch or a goalkeeper sliding or goalkeeper sliding to stop, he has to develop the creatine phosphate system. So in a, for a cricketer, it is important that he has to have all the energy systems very well developed. Similarly for the football player and the basketball player. So any, uh, any sport which is lasting a longer time frame, all three things have to be done really well. So that is why when you see in cricket or in football also, so, you know, some, uh, some uh, players in cricket are specialists. They will be uh, standing in the slips. They will be standing close by because they have fast reactions. So fast reactions, when they have fast reactions, those are the ones who have better creatine phosphate system because they have that ability. So a sprinter, a sprinter, which means a person who runs very fast, we cannot, he, uh, he, uh, they're always born. You're born with the fast twitch fiber. So there are fibers you have in the muscles. There are a lot of fibers. Okay. So uh, uh, in that also, this I'm just going to go through it fast, guys. It may be uh, a bit too much. Okay. Guys, keep your video on so I can see you, okay? So you see over here, so the muscle fibers which we have, you have the twitch rate, fast. Uh, two of them are fast and one of them is slow. If you see over here, aerobic is the one type one. So many people who do the running, uh, long distance running, marathon running, they will be using the type 1 fiber, okay? And uh, the, the type 2A is the one which I was talking about, the aerobic anaerobic one, the lactic acid system, okay? So, yeah. so what are these types again? Like, what do they signify? Signify. Okay, let me uh, uh, go back to the whiteboard and uh, explain to you better, okay? Let us just say uh, Yash, 
okay let us just say let this is a leg okay just for example okay this is your leg okay this is a feet so these are the thighs so in, on thighs you have a lot of muscle mass okay thighs so if you see if you touch your muscle yeah the muscle is actually got lot of so this is the muscle if you cut it inside there will be a lot of fibers inside and inside the fiber there will be thinner thinner like lines will be there so these fibers are the one which i am talking about i will show you a picture if it is there allah one sec okay this one okay can you see this see can you see the muscle over here where is i showing the tendons from there the muscle has been cut and shown and then the connective tissue and the round and finer and finer form lesser and lesser so can you see those dots over here can you see these dots yeah and it says myofibril fiber so these are the ones i am talking about do you understand this one the myofibril okay okay Okay. okay so when i'm uh, when i'm saying that that is what i'm talking about now when i say you are born with it yeah many many of the kids even in your class or uh, you'll be saying you know what i train really hard but i can never beat that guy in a sprinting race if i even if i'm i'm training 6 days a week yeah and i but in a run i can never beat him because uh, him or her she's also very fast you know she runs very fast and you know everything is fast but they cannot do it for a longer period of time but for a sprint race they will always win okay because that one they are born with it it is not they are they, they don't have to train for it okay so this far fast twitch fibers if you have more than 51% in your legs especially the thighs yeah especially the thighs and the butt then you are bound to be faster than the most of the people who do not have this so if you have less than 50% so you will not be as fast as that person you can develop it as much as you want but naturally the other person is more gifted now tell me something in this photo i will show the photo again of the sprinting where is the sprinting what is that what what, what is it that you see over here what, what do you see over here of these guys tell me what do you see just just notice something and tell me what do you see is a olympic event what do you see do you do you can can you notice that all the guys are black <laughs> yeah so in a sprinting event no it is uh, 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 do you see in basketball which is a jumping event and a sprint and fast everything is speeding up yeah they are also black african americans so they are, uh, na, yeah. so they are, they have naturally gifted talent for speed and strength which means boxing also okay which is fast event a powerful event okay so they have naturally gifted talent over there they get it so it is not like so all those six sorry eight of them who were running in the olympics yeah in the final who come they are all from the west indies island which means barbados jamaica saint uh saint kitts or america so all of them are from that region and that region has got lot of fast twitch fibers even in india you know many of those uh, the we have the javelin thrower chopra and a few of the wrestlers they are also similar thing they have the fast twitch fibers and if they work on it then they get strong most of the people do not know that they have it so they don't work on it okay you might have naturally god given genes or talent but if you don't work on it nothing is going to happen okay do you get it so you have to actually work hard at it to develop it so i also showed you uh guys over here see uh where is it gone see over here see it says over here fast two uh, it says 2a type 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 2a and 2x now this 2x is the one which i am saying which is you are born with it okay that is the absolute speed and fast uh, the uh, the creatine phosphate system which uses okay the 2a which is the aerobic and the anaerobic one yeah now let me talk to you uh, some of you guys eat meat many of you don't but i'm just going to tell you anyway okay now tell me something have you seen uh, chicken meat 
meat. I'm talking on meat, meat, okay? Yeah. And you you see mutton also, right? Yeah. Yeah. What color is uh, the the mutton? It's a bit red. Or red. Red, red. Red color. Uh, what color is chicken mainly? White. White. Now this is what it is. The fast twitch fiber is more white in color. The slow twitch fiber is more red in color. Okay. Red in color is the slow twitch fiber. The fast twitch fiber is the more white in color. Okay. Have you seen ever seen pork or bacon? Yeah. It is pink. It's pinkish. It's slightly pink. So it is the in between one. So and now uh, tell me something. If you see a chicken move, have you seen the chicken move? Yeah. It moves very fast, but it cannot sustain for long. It or a hen. Chicken, yeah, hen moves. Hen and a rooster moves. Chicken is dead. Okay. Uh, the, when you see a hen or a rooster move, yeah, it moves very fast. Okay. Whereas if you see a goat, yeah, if you see a goat, it can keep walking through the day. If you see cow, it can keep walking through the day. Okay. So they have more red twitch. Okay. The 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 pig or the uh, the boar, it can move fast, but at the same time throughout the day. Okay, so that is what it is. So we have all these three fibers. Most of the time, you will see, realize that people who have uh, affinity, affinity means uh, ability to do long distance running, which means marathon and 10 kilometers plus, they will usually start having more red color fibers. The problem is as we get older, or if you play any sport, sport is never, never, any sport, football, basketball, cricket, when, whenever things happen, things happen very fast. Yeah. They're, not, they're not slow. The bowler, you know, or when the throw happens, he's not throwing slowly. He's trying to throw it fast. Similarly, basketball players move fast. Okay, within that 20 uh, uh, like, you know, uh, seconds, they have to score a basket. Yeah, they, they, have, they, they try to score a basket. Similarly, so most of the game, you'll see, happens fast. So we have to develop the white twitch fiber and the 2A ones, which is the pinkish one, which can then move more towards the white side. Okay. So when you are exercising now as teenagers, because the red twitch fiber will stay with you throughout life. I will show you one more. Okay. This lady over here, you know, she's an Indian, Indian lady, this one, she is hundred and one years old in this photo and she started running at the age of 90. Uh, uh, she started running at the age of, she's from Punjab. She started running at the age of 90 and for the last 10 so, years she's been running. So, so you can, is she hello? still alive? She's 102 right now. Hopefully the coronavirus has not taken her. <laughs> if she's running outdoors, of course she will be taking her, right? No, I, I'm, I'm kidding. Okay. I do not know. I do not know the answer to that question. Okay, guys. So what I'm trying to say is long distance running and everything else, as long as your joints are in order, you can actually practice and be able to do it. But the fast twitch one, the strength ones, you lose as you get older. And in, during teenage time, if you work hard at it, then you can maintain it and increase it. The more you increase it, the better it is for you for the rest of your life, because you have created a strong foundation. Okay. You need to create a strong foundation so that you can have this kind of fibers. Okay. And uh, work harder. So only if you work harder at it, then only you will be able to keep it. Otherwise now. Okay, guys, now we need to go uh, before I spend too much time on this. Uh, we need to come to the next part. Do you have any questions regarding what we spoke just now about the fibers or the, uh, the energy system? You understood everything. <laughs> I, I talk to the adults and they don't understand, but you understand everything, which means that at this age, okay, guys, I'm going to show you some photos. Tell me uh, fast as to who this person is. Okay. Who's this person? The kid. This is Nadal. Yeah. Yeah. Is... yeah who's this? Nadal. Nadal. <laughs> <laughs> full name, full name. Next time, please give full name. Okay. Who's this? 
first lionel messi what who was that did you understand who was that oh yeah was was this lionel messi messi he was when he was yeah 11 yes you are you are 10 years old okay mm. okay and uh who's this uh now this one uh, adi has to answer first okay let's see if okay. we can get it right and i hope he does is it a cricketer is virat kohli very obviously okay you know how old is he yeah um yeah i do he's um um 21 no no he's a teenager he's a teenager oh no then he's i think he's, he's, he's yeah whatever it is he's 15 to 17 yes okay so what i'm trying to make you understand is all of these sportsmen yeah who you admire yeah started at what age Are your it? your age okay um, only only through persistence and dedication they were able to do it okay so only if if you admire them and if you want to be like them you have to put in those hard yards to be able to do something like that okay okay guys uh, uh, so those, that was a question uh, like we were we want to talk a little bit about the energy system and the types of fiber okay remember those things okay now i want to ask you about the nutrition do you have any questions about nutrition or everyone eats very well yeah do you have no questions about nutrition ha huh? raima raima eats only what her sister bakes <laughs> huh? we had it last weekend so i know what it is okay guys what is it that you know about nutrition just tell me you know like uh, is it good or bad what what do you think is good to eat and what is it that is not advisable to eat i never say bad then sorry i have a question for the nutrition yeah. is whey protein good for us or bad there is no good or bad remember there is a, a food is never good or bad it is always in context of who okay first and foremost you are teenagers you are still growing you do not need to have all these supplements you know what is a supplement you know supplement means is apart from which means you are already eating good food and nutrition and you are you need extra something which the your coach has told you or your doctor has told you then only you take it you okay. don't take the supplement otherwise there is no need for this thing okay so there is no need for supplements ever unless an, we are, we are normal people we are not uh, super athletes like uh, like nadal and all those people who are actually training for 5 to 6 hours a day even uh, when he was a teenager if nadal had asked the same question for example then the answer would be different right because he's training so hard throughout the day okay okay so guys uh, so that was uh, uh, about the supplement uh, any uh, any other sorry hi, this is reena uh, you know i'm sunu's friend my son yeah. actually you know does two hours of training almost on a daily basis and he is 9 year old so, so can reena you, can you just put your uh, video on i can't see you my son he yeah. my son trains for uh, you know two hours a day he's tennis yeah. and uh, he's 9 year old Can we have things like pediasure at least those kind of whey proteins? That is the question See, because you said it's yeah, not needed, but it's not needed for anybody. I will tell you something. Uh, first and uh, foremost thing about nutrition is anything that has changed form is not right. Let me uh, put it this way, okay? Anything which gets spoiled fast, hmm. okay? If you if you put meat or chicken outside. it gets spoiled if you put milk outside not in the fridge it gets spoiled if you put vegetables spoiled within a day or two okay fruit gets spoiled within a day or two so anything that decomposes and gets spoiled fast is the best food for you okay because the absorbs absorption is the highest for you highest form we are not non vegetarian so uh, now, see a vegetarian uh, yeah yeah arena vegetarian or non vegetarian is a religious choice in india at least okay it is uh, or in and some people's case it is a ethical choice because they think or they think about the environment and all those things 
So religious and ethics do not come in the way of science. Science says this is what is good for you and all those things. And I have to talk according to that. Okay. So that is why I'm saying this. Now you can, well, all that it means is for uh, a person who needs a lot amount of food and nutrition in terms of protein and all those things. Yeah. Protein, even if you are uh, two hours a day is not, not long, by the way, it's normal. It should be, it is a, no, it is, it is normal. Yeah. It is normal for all of you kids. Okay. So if any, any one of you is uh, exercising in the morning for an hour and then playing for an hour in the day here, there, that is normal. That, that should be normal. Okay. When you're talking about uh, uh, four to five hours, two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening, and then, then that becomes a different ball game. Okay. Then we can talk about different things, but all of you as kids took supplements, by the way, you know, Cerelac supplement. Yeah. All of you have fed those milk supplements at that uh, time. Okay. But the doctors always say mother's milk is the best because has got other things. Same thing. Natural food is always the best. Okay. Anything which comes in a container or a package. Okay. Anything which comes in a container, which means like at a dabba or it has got a plastic covering on it, which means the biscuits, which are, yeah. yeah but uh, three hours of training, we should not give any, any supplemental protein. No, no, not at this age at all. Okay. No, 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 no supplemental protein for them. You can give them milk. Okay. Give them but milk. Sure like a, but PDA sure is not okay. No, that's, that's, see, you are asking me what is the best option. Okay. okay? I'm, I'm telling you the best. After that, if you do not have a choice, if say, for example, okay, if uh, it was one of those, uh, uh, all of all the kids over here right now who are talking to me right now, uh, you guys are affluent kids. You are, you are very, very, you have got the, uh, you know, the, you're lucky in the gene pool to be able to afford everything. Okay. Okay. So I have to tell you the best thing possible because you can afford it. If you are not able to afford it, I would say, oh, you know what? You should have a, a glucose biscuit. So if it was a poor kid, I would say, you know what? Have this thing, have the glucose biscuit, have this, have this because it's cheaper and it's affordable. Okay. But for you guys who have the resources, then you should be able to do your best. Okay. Stick to the natural food, stick to milk, stick to the like, you know, uh, 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 vegetables. Mainly you have to eat vegetables and fruit, uh, dairy products and a little bit of meat and, and all those things. If you're not eating meat, that's your choice. That means you have to eat more of the dairy products. I'm just going to share, uh, share a, a, a pyramid with you guys. Okay. If you see this pyramid over here at the bottom, bottom of the pyramid means the most amount of things which you are supposed to have. Okay. As kids I'm talking about. Okay. So that is the one which you are supposed to have the most, which is the vegetables and fruit. And after that, a little bit lesser serving of mainly the potatoes, yam, and all those things. Lesser stress should be on the bread and all those things, okay? Thereafter, the dairy, then the, uh, then the meat products, then the fat, and lastly, which is the, if you see the top, which is, uh, you know, I said the container and all those things, and it says not every day, rarely. Maximum of once or twice a week, okay? Uh, where is it? Okay, yeah, you can uh, see that again uh, later. But do you understand what I'm trying to say, guys? But what the is, most... is it good? At what, like after 14, 15, little bit of supplements if they are exercising? At what, it's, at what age is it good to take these supplements? Uh, 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 Rina. Uh, Rina, no? Yeah, yeah. Rina, uh, I will tell you something. The supplement, no? Supplement, when a person says, supplement uh, by word it is it is you should it is not a replacement okay please don't uh, uh, most of you guys are thinking of supplement as a replacement you, when you're talking to me you're saying we do not have this thing that is why i'm doing this thing supplement that, that is not a supplement you're replacing it so now if you say you know what i'm not going to have breakfast but i'm going to give you a, a protein shake that has become a replacement now so you not had breakfast you're supposed to have breakfast you're supposed to have breakfast lunch and dinner now, if you have uh, like a condition whereby you're not able to uh, eat more food or you're in a hurry or something, and uh, you're always on the run because the event is coming up, 
then I can understand you having a juice or something like that, which is also a supplement, by the way, because juice has changed form from what the fruit. Okay. So understand these things. Okay. So once you say supplement, it is because you have, do not have the choice at that moment in time, but otherwise the more you stick to natural food and the food groups, better it is. The, re and the reason I tell you as teenagers is because at teenage time, at this age, young age, if you have bad eating habits, yeah, then it stays for the rest of your life. It's, uh, there's a higher likelihood for you guys to be obese and unfit if at this moment in time, you are eating always takeaway food, not home cooked food. As soon as you are getting food from outside, what is happening? Why do you like outside food? Let me ask you like this. Why do you, out, why do you like restaurant food or outside food? Because it has more salt. Yes, salt and? It's different. No, and it's got sugar. Any food, a Chinese food, whichever you take, every food which is outside, they will always put a little bit more salt and sugar. As soon as you put more salt and sugar, it is more tasty. And anything which is cooked, cooked in more cream, so it is fat, so you, you like it better. Okay, so three things which you have to avoid most of the time is anything higher in salt, sugar is a no-no, and the high fat food, okay? So if these, if these are the things you avoid at this moment in time, you will have better eating habits when you are out of your teenage, okay? That is important, guys, because we do not want to, we are, you know, you will always hear, uh, what do you see, uh, hear from your parents or your adults? What, is the, what do you always hear? Oh, I'm going on this diet. I'm doing this diet. Why, why, why do you keep on hearing people are talking about diet? When food is, yeah, you know, uh, you just have to eat fresh food. Yeah. They always try to do quick fix. Yeah. And the quick fix doesn't happen. Can you grow fast right now? If I ask you Instagram way or the grow, 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 grow very fast, be 20 years old, not possible. Okay. Everything, the evolution wise happens slowly. Okay. Happens slowly. So same thing. The food habits, as long as you stick to eating at home right now and eating what I just said, fresh food, yeah, then you will stick by it. And when you're out of your teens, you'll have good food, uh, good eating habits. Okay. So that is important. Okay, guys, any, any other question regarding this? Nutrition. You can ask anything. Like uh, uh, Reema asked me earlier about uh, supplements and all those things. Yeah, but the supplement, again, I'm telling you, is always the last option, if at all, because you can't do anything about it. Oh, also, yeah. in the morning when, you know, we do the online session, workout, yeah. Yeah. Do, we, do we have to have anything before that or after? Okay. See, for, uh, 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 that's a good question, actually. The best time to eat food is right after exercise within an hour, within an hour. The more you eat during that time, the better the absorption and better you'll be able to hold on to your own muscle mass, okay? So you guys are growing. You know, uh, 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 you have to always stay in a, an anabolic means a growing stage, which means putting on. You have to put on bone mass, you have to put on muscle mass. So if you're not eating enough, and you're exercising hard, you're doing other things hard, then always there'll be, it will go into repair. The muscle has to be, you have to recover from the exercise. You have to recover from the strain of the day. So it will always go into the, and after that, after repair only, it goes into the growth. Okay. So eat well, eat well right after exercise. You should eat within half an hour to an hour. And thereafter, of course, through the day. Okay. What I would suggest to you guys is instead of Arima, Arima is also there. What I would suggest to you guys is as long as you're drinking a glass of milk at each sitting, do you understand each sitting, which means breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. Yeah. You are covering your basis because you don't need to have a lot of protein, by the way, guys, it's, it's only 20%. Even an athlete doesn't need a lot of protein. 
you are we are not bodybuilders you see me that i am not a bodybuilder neither are you guys yeah so we are not bodybuilders so we do not need that much amount of protein uh to for anything that you guys are doing okay as long as you are eating well and having this what i just said three glasses of milk a day yeah you will be good so when you say milk you can substitute with paneer curd or something also right yeah the uh, milk what is sorry na uh, uh milk paneer paneer is uh, of course uh, the dairy farm the cheese cheese is uh, uh, we would not advise cheese in india simply because most of it is actually not cheese it is just soft cheese and it is mainly fat and it is uh, cheese the hard cheese is always the better one but and many a time in cheese there are additives added sometimes i'm just saying something uh, like any, sorry abul cheese abul cheese also that that is what i'm saying that is not cheese okay that is not actually cheese the amount of whatever uh, you're thinking it is there it is not there if you're making it at home no that's a different option because if you're making the paneer at home then you know not a, not a lot of soda is used or outside products are used okay so the more you use it at home the more sure you are as to what has gone into it when you cook you know how much oil you put when you cook you know how much salt has gone into it yeah so so we would we always say eat at home eat at home means yeah what else guys any other question regarding the nutrition no everybody understood everything again yeah. either you guys are very good students or i am an excellent teacher you know i am such a great teacher that I'm i make not. everyone understand so which kushi says i'm not so either that or you guys are all dumb that you cannot understand only and that's why you're not asking any questions huh any other questions mr ade no yes so you're thinking anything before the workout right I, if you have to eat anything before the workout uh, kushi it should always be if you are getting up half an hour before let's just say for example if you are training at 6:30 and if you are getting up at 5:45 to have a glass of uh, like cup of milk and half a banana then it's okay okay if not then i would only say have banana that's it okay if you are not if you are not getting off more than you know what happens is do you know my stomach is a muscle right yeah okay so when you are exercising what is happening the uh, the blood is going to the muscle mus okay now if you have eaten and the uh, and you exercising what will happen is that it will go to the muscles and the stomach is not getting blood to do its work when the stomach doesn't get blood it it will what it will throw out it, you, that's why many people throw up if they eat too uh, too soon before the workout okay so if they are exercising too soon that will happen but if if you see uh, uh tennis players or many of this people they will keep on biting one a piece of banana that's it. just one slice go away one slice go away so that it sustains you okay they keep on rising but a little bit not too much a banana that's what they have usually so guys we are not talking about elite sportsmen who need the protein supplement or who need the other uh, vitamins and minerals extra because the wear and tear on them is extremely high and and you guys none of you guys are fall, uh, fall into that category training for one or two hours a day or even uh, uh, playing any any kind of sport for for two three hours a day you do not need those things you eat your food well and all that i would say is you show your biggest meal in the day should always be dinner dinner okay i i keep telling kushi and aryan eat your dinner heavy because you're going to sleep the growth hormone is going to be released you know the repair because for the next 8 to 9 hours when you're sleeping it will be uh, the uh, the amino acid which is the protein level will be higher in the blood which is good for you so what what, what do i tell aryan is eat till when you you feel till here where yeah <laughs> push it feels all the way till here it doesn't happen but i'm just telling you that is how you should eat uh, 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 who uh, who needs this the most yash don't doze off you also need to do the same eat a lot in the night yeah don't show me thumbs up when you're not going to do it <laughs> send me a recording send me a video recording of your dinner how much you're eating 
Okay, so I'll ask my father. I'll okay, show okay, you before and after my. Okay, guys, this is for the girls. Okay. Heavy dinner is till what age? Like eighteen, nineteen? Till eighteen, nineteen, you need to eat a heavy dinner, or at till what age? No, it depends. So after eighteen or nineteen, or even when you're older, it depends on what amount of stress you're putting the body under. You know. So uh, for me, uh, like uh, uh, myself, I'm 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 fifty one. Going to be fifty one. Fifty one. Even now, dinner is the heaviest because wear and strain on my body because I am exercising a lot. You guys know. I mean, I I train a lot, right? And apart from training you guys, I have to train myself. So when I train you, when I'm training others, I'm doing it. But that is not a, at the level I need to be at. So I need to train separately higher. So because of that, I need to eat more. So I always tell boys, teenage boys. and i like a russian man russian man always says eat like a man do not eat like a sissy okay eat like a man which means a lot never eat less okay so and now now guys girls i i need to talk to you about this okay guys you are you guys are going through a, a, a transformational change most of you girls okay when uh, when you hit puberty uh, you start having uh, boobs uh, sorry boobs is breasts sorry breasts sorry guys it's the wrong word uh breast and other changes which will take the hips will be uh, bigger and uh, the thighs okay and and you know what the body fat will also rise you know what one of the most imp important thing to remember is the fact that when you're out of your teens you should not have your body fat should be between 15 to 20 only if you were more than 20 when you uh, tw more than 20% body fat when you're out of your teen that is not an ideal place to be for the rest of your life then you'll always struggle can i show you one thing which i have i've not uh, done it but i want to show it to uh, this is important for all of you guys okay this is an example okay so do not take it okay so i'm going to put my name okay let's just say that's me okay i was born and this khushi was born okay i can't see anything oh you can see uh open your eyes okay guys uh uh kushi was let's say both of us were born on the same date same time everything same okay now the thing is uh when you're born you're uh, born with predetermined fat cells you know what is a fat cell fat cell is a, like a balloon which stores fat let us just say i was born with 4 billion fat cell and kushi was born with on the 2 billion fat cell so when you are born at like that so which means that i am much more prone to being fat compared to kushi at birth but between the age of 0 to 6 which is infant state my parents didn't bother to overfeed me you know didn't uh, didn't care about me looking chubby or anything of that sort so i stayed with four but kushi's parents grandparents neighbors friends everybody fed her because everybody wanted to see her round So two two became three, okay. Now what is uh, no? This numbers don't change throughout life, okay. It changes over here the, between this stage and then is going to change between the teen teenage time, between the age of thirteen to nineteen is going to change again. Now I played sport as Sunil played sport at uh, uh, different levels and a uh, a lot of sport, very physically active, and was never stressed about studies. so i stayed at four khushi was stressed about getting her grades you know always wanted a eight when her father wanted nine so she was always was studying hard yeah so now this three because of stress and studying hard and not exercising and eating all the time it became five so now we are in adulthood <coughs> adulthood yeah so now in adulthood which we have come into in our know, 20s i'm now khushi is more prone to being fat compared to sunil okay but she works out hard now this is a you know fat cell is like a balloon now sunil is uh, in a it industry he stopped playing sport he is in it industry he is doing a sitting job he is uh, like you know practically like a halwai just sitting over there not doing anything yeah so all his fat cells are big so 4 billion like this whereas khushi's 5 billion are like this Five billion because she exercises hard. She looks after her nutrition. 
and everything else. So her five billion are like this. Even though more, she's more prone to being fat, she looks thin, whereas Sunil looks fat. Okay. Now, what can happen is over here for for uh, men, it never changes once they are out of their teens. Very rare, unless if they take drugs, then it uh, can change. But otherwise, no. So the fat cell stays the same. Whereas for Kushi over here, uh, because she's a female, and if she wants to have kids, yeah, and the first child which was born, and she put on too much weight. You don't need to know this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. She puts on too much weight. You know, when the first child was being born, she uh, she ate like as if two people. Well, that is what her family told her, and everybody told her, and she was not moving at all. So that the first birth, yeah, this five became seven. And the second, most pe many people have two kids. So uh, that's what I'm going to say. And the second birth, this seven became ten. And now she's about in her late twenties, say twenty, twenty-eight or whatever. Now she has four billion fat cells, and she will always be more prone to being fat, and will struggle throughout life, and will keep talking about what? Yes, ten billion. Ten billion, yeah. What she what she will keep on talking about is the diet. Diet. She will keep on talking about a fancy diet. Go to a fancy dietitian. Whereas food is not complex. Who makes it complex? Us. Us. Which is the best mm -hmm. diet? healthy no which is the best diet there's no diet i do not believe in diets healthy eating habits are there diet for people who are on diet the best diet is always the next diet next diet they will be on that is the best diet because as soon as they are on the next diet they say oh this is a great diet and then they stop it and then they do a different one and all the while they are putting on more fat okay guys I don't want you, I, the reason for this talk was so that you guys understand that you guys have the resources, the capability and the brains to be smart enough to actually exercise. If, as long as you're moving and exercising for an hour a day, that is good enough. Exercise means it has to be slightly uncomfortable. It has to, it cannot be comfortable. It cannot be, yeah, well, I'm, I'm walking on my uh, terrace and then it becomes an exercise. That is not exercise. That is just a walk. It's a walk and then don't say that, you know, you are supposed to be moving the whole day anyway. Yeah, the, 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 the villager, you know, the, who's working throughout the day, you know, he's, he's just working. That means the salesman works out the most? No, he's on his feet and walking. Doesn't mean he's working out. That is his job. Similarly, when I'm, I'm training you guys for four to five hours a day, that doesn't mean I'm exercising. My exercise is when I exercise, which is slightly uncomfortable for me. When it is easy, it is not, com it is not exercise. Okay. So whenever you train, when you're slightly uncomfortable, that is the time you're getting better. Okay. So when you're doing math sums, when you're learning science and it's getting hard for you and you're, uh, you're working at it or English or whatever the, you're studying. Okay. That is the time you're getting better. If it was easy for you, the math, then you would be a genius. And we won't be talking over here. <laughs> Any questions you have? So what are the th three laws huh? of Newton? Newton laws. Let's start with this. <laughs> okay, guys, one question. One question for you. Yeah, unit of energy is... Damn it. Newtons. Yeah, that is why I asked you guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, guys, uh, listen, you understood the energy system. You understood the muscle fibers. You have understood the fact that you have to work hard to change those muscle fibers for your own benefit. Hopefully, you understood also that the nutrition, don't be obsessed about food. Obsessed in the sense of, oh, this is right, this is wrong, this is right. This. As long as you understand that too much sugar, too much salt, and too much fat, not to have and eat at home, you are good to go. Don't have to worry. Mainly eat fruit and vegetable, mainly eat fruit and vegetable, little bit of dairy and meat products, yeah, and grains. No sugar. <laughs> sugar is like drugs. Do you understand? And all of you, uh, guys, listen, you know, uh, what is happening, what, what, this is what I see you guys, okay? 
you guys need to be more physically active through the day. Even though it's a lockdown, no excuses, okay? You guys need to be more physically active, more put more stress on your body, which used to happen earlier, yeah? In my time or uh, uh, earlier times. Now it is happening less and less. That is why you will always see many of the girls, even the boys, have smaller joints, you know, joint, the wrist joint, elbow joint, they're, they're which means smaller bones. We do not want small bones. When you, when you put the body under stress and strain, the bones become bigger and stronger. Okay, we want the neuro, the, the musculoskeletal growth. The bone has to get stronger. The height, nobody can stop you, whatever you do, exercise. And uh, yeah, as long as you exercise well and eat well, you will grow well, okay? So the growth will never be affected by anything except medical condition. Any other question you have, guys? Huh? No. If you do, if you do not press or put stress on yourself, guys, you'll be getting weaker, okay? Do not get weak. Put stress on yourself overall, physically and otherwise, okay? See, the thing is, I get up in the morning, I make sure that I stress Kushi and Aaron all the time. All the time. Yeah? Yeah. Guys, do it yourself, okay? Your parents are too nice. Most of your parents are too nice. Yeah? To not stress you out. Okay? Any other question you have? No more questions? How do we not end up like that fat guy sitting on the chair? <laughs> <laughs> tell, use uh, tell, eat, take away food, darling. Eat, uh, always have takeaway food. You'll be yes. <laughs>